my habit is large. THC helps give me a charge. Smoke in the room and it stink like a skunk. That's my favorite weed to put in a blunt in the sky parkour. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blunt Marley. This is Certified Pothead. I'm smoking on one of my uh, morning fruits. You know we about to do Bird Club. We about to get into these cannabis conspiracy theories. And today's conspiracy theory involves the Knights Templar. So buckle up and hold on to your armor because we're about to take a ride down the rabbit hole. When you think of the Knights Templar, you probably imagine them as the medieval Avengers, gallivanting across the deserts and guarding holy relics like they're the big-headed soldiers outside of Buckingham Palace. But what if, and I know this sounds crazier than a cow wearing a tuxedo, but what if these guys weren't just hoarding treasure and relics? What if they were actually medieval pot farmers using cannabis to fund their secret empire? This theory is about to get weird, but walk with me for a second and see where uh, we end up at. If this gets weirder than trying to butter toast with your elbow. Here's a riddle for you. I wear armor shining, a sword by my side. I serve my king with honor and pride. I ride into battle, my courage on display. Who am I? Defending castles by night and by day. Let's start with the basics. The Knights Templar owned land. Lots of land. I'm talking more land than the Mormon celestial body has planets. Sure, they could have been growing your standard medieval crop. Wheat, barley, or whatever passes for exciting in the world of agriculture back then. But what if, just what if, they were cultivating something a little bit more herbal. Now I know what you think. This sounds about as possible as a squirrel running a lemonade stand. But bear with me. They had land. They had secrecy. And let's be honest. They probably had time on their hands when they weren't busy crusading or counting their treasure. What's to stop them from starting up a little medieval cannabis farm? It's not like they had Netflix to binge watch back then. Imagine a Templar knight in full armor standing in a field of cannabis plants, carefully pruning the buds like he's auditioning for a medieval episode of gardening with armor the helmet might make it tricky but templars weren't known for subsiding to obstacles nah bro they push right through here's another riddle for you i shape the sword and bend the steel with hammer in hand i make the wheel sparks fly as i work in heat who am i working with iron at my feet now when people talk about the templars they mention how they practically invented medieval banking like if apple pay had existed in the 12th century these guys would have been its founders minus the customer service issues they were moving treasure across continents with a system so advanced it's like they had the medieval version of venmo but with more chain mail involved so what if instead of just transporting gold and treasure they were also moving something else something a little less shiny but a whole lot leafier you might be thinking are you seriously saying the templars were running a medieval drug trade and i know it sounds as ridiculous as trying to train a cat to mow your lawn but let's keep walking this out picture this a templar sitting in a dimly lit vault whispering brother godfrey this special herb have arrived make sure they're delivered to the castle and don't forget to use the secret password parsley sage and rosemary in time at this point you're probably asking yourself wait are we talking about templars or a medieval version of whole food and to that i say why can't it be both here's another riddle for you i wear bells and colors and never the same to make you laugh is my only aim in courts of kings i jest and dance who am i given just one chance here's where it gets interesting everyone loves a good templar conspiracy theory secret rituals mysterious ceremonies and the occasional accusation of sorcery but what if stay with me for a second what if those secret rituals were a bit more mellow you know like when your neighbor meditates in his backyard with incense and pink floyd on repeat imagine the templars gathering in a dark castle room passing around something that isn't exactly a chalice of wine one night turns to the other and says brother stephen i have seen a vision in the future people will argue for hours about whether or not hot dogs count as sandwiches and brother stephen takes a deep breath and replies 
You're blowing my mind, man. That's the hummus. Now, I know you're probably rolling your eyes at this point thinking, this has to be the wildest history rewrite since someone suggested dinosaurs built the pyramids. And you're right. This is out there. But hey, the Templars have been accused of stranger things. Why not throw in a little bit of medieval relaxation to herb? After all, even knights need to unwind after a long day of crusading. Crusading. Crusading is not the way you say that. After a long day of crusading and banking, right? Here's another riddle for you. I fly above with wings of might. My breath is flame that lights the night. In legends, I guard treasures untold. Who am I feared in stories of old? Finally, the piece of the resource. The big question everybody asks, what happened to the Templar's treasure? People assume they were sitting on piles of gold and priceless relics. Maybe even the Holy Grail itself. But what if, just stay here for a second. What if their real treasure wasn't shiny or holy? What if it was leafy? Or you're probably shaking your head thinking, there's no way these knights were hiding fields of cannabis like medieval horticultural ninjas. And honestly, you got a point. But think about it. They had the land, the secrecy, and the know-how. What if the treasure wasn't something dug up? But something they grew. It would explain the whole world looked for it. It was never found. Everybody's been looking for gold while the real treasure was just out there soaking up the medieval sun. Maybe, just maybe, we've been asking the wrong question all along. Instead of, where's the Templar's gold, we should be asking, where's the Templar greenhouse? Because if there's one thing we know for sure, it's that the Knights of Templar were experts at keeping secrets. And who's to say their biggest secret wasn't a stash of medieval green and it's still out there waiting to be found. At this point, you're probably thinking he's lost the plot. This sounds crazier than trying to teach a giraffe to drive. And honestly, you might be right. But next time someone brings up the Templars, your smile will say maybe the real treasure wasn't gold. It was something a bit more. Then watch as the conspiracy theory grows faster than dandelions in your backyard. The answers to the riddles. Knight, blacksmith, jester, dragon. I'll see y'all in the next one, bro.